Well, we had a good night here at Northfield Park. You see a guest appearance here from Lauren. And we're towing Mama Knows Best back to the barn after her, uh, you gotta go to the test barn after you win. And for any of you that have been to Northfield Park, you know that our barn is on the opposite side of the property. It's pouring rain, so it's a, a long country mile walk back in, uh, it's three degrees in pouring rain right now. It's gonna freeze tonight. Hopefully we can train tomorrow. But more about tonight. That girl, Mama Knows Best, was a winner and looked good doing it. A lot of people ask me why was Aaron Merriman driving when you were there. Great story, I had told you in an earlier video. We had listed Ronnie Wren on Mama Knows Best. Nobody said a word. And when the draw was completed, they had just put Aaron Merriman on the mare without asking anyone, which they do commonly do, especially if you don't if you don't list a second driver. Uh, I thought it was a little odd because they had listed me on down to drive two other horses that weren't very good, but did not list me on the horse that I'm partners of and that Jason trains when I'm here. But it all worked out well. She was a winner. She raced really, really well. Um, she raced really, really well. Levator, our uh, first start for Levator, he was absolutely fantastic tonight. Not very often you buy, but I mean, at some point, I hope this is this is a, a, a watershed moment for this horse where, you know, this $175,000 yearling that broke a lot of hearts his whole life. Now, the scouting report I got on Levator was he had one speed, he couldn't leave, and probably couldn't get around a half mile track. Okay. Um... I wouldn't say that was the most accurate scouting report I've ever gotten on a horse, but nevertheless, uh, was incorrect. Was incorrect. He was awesome tight. Now he is out of that class, but I would think off a mile and 55, look at mama, off a mile and 55, uh, we have options, lots of options with this guy. Uh, as I said, I would love to see. <laughs> I would love to see um, Levator build on this mile. Who knows what kind of horse he could be. You know, keep in mind, we never saw the best of White Tiger until he was six. This guy's five. So uh, he definitely raced the best mile of his life tonight. He was a, it was a lifetime mark for him and looked very convincing doing it. I didn't even pull the earplugs on him. So he was very, very good tonight. Mama was very, you know, very, not very often you see Mama knows best leave, get gathered up, stuffed back in the four hole, come first over and win as easy as she did. She was good. She has one or two, I believe two more wins in that class. And then uh, Jekyll and Hyde did what he could. You know, he's not as good as the other two horses, not on his best day. And uh, trotted a mile in the rain in, what, 59, 58 and a piece. That's pretty much what he can do. So I think it may be time to, uh, bye mama. It may, just push that button. There you go. It may be time to uh, think about parting ways with uh, Jekyll and Hyde. I like the horse. I get nothing wrong with them. But all three divisions had components of, of decency in them, right? And all three races had um, had horses that were better than Jekyll and Hyde. So it may be time to to uh, take a look at free agency for for Jekyll and Hyde. We'll see. Um, and then Voyage of Ice and Fire. I'm not gonna lie to you. The track was bad. What happens is it gets hard as a rock underneath. A little bit of mud and water on top. Just a horrible racing surface, especially for him. But I was disappointed again. But I mean, I'm used to it with this guy. He's been a disappointment. For quite a while for quite a while um, really broke my heart last year you know even at the baby races I thought we had something because you're looking at what he's doing now and saying he can do more I know he can do more but he didn't and um, really broke my heart last year that horse and you know when it comes to this year he trained down well now if he was just a horse I would say yeah, give him a break you know muddy night crappy night but I don't want to give him a break. You know, he, he's he's uh, frustrated me for a very long time. And, you know, quite frankly, he is really, really going to have to show me something in the next two or three weeks. Or his first win in the Maiden. And he will win a Maiden. His first win in the Maiden will be his last start for us if he can't do more. You know, you look at horses that are working their asses off right now, like we are. You know, I get up this morning. 7.15. Got the kids out the door. Got Addie in the car. Went to the farm. Trained six to 50 babies. As soon as we were done training, washed my face off. Got in this car. 
drove to Ohio. I got here just in time to take my rapid test at the pharmacy, get the results, come here, and begin racing. It is now 11.13 at night, and I just finished. So not just me, everybody, all of us, we all work hard to achieve and try to achieve what we're trying to do and to turn a blind eye to to mediocrity in the worst form because Voyage of Ice and Fire could be a better horse. He chooses not to be. So, you know, I, I gotta, I, I have to be honest, his first win will likely be his last start for us. And that could be next week. It could be in a few weeks. But I'm not ripping around the fairs with a horse that just goes out on the track trying to figure out new ways to get beat. It's just not going to happen. So, um, finished fourth, I would say, if he had to put in seven-eighths seven eighths of a mile the way he put in the last eighth of a mile, he'd be fine. He finished up strong. Got up, went by two two horses or three horses on the inside of him and got up for fourth. He needs to put more of that in. And, um, you know, the optimist in, inside me um, says he will. But the realist says, I haven't seen it yet. So, uh, so, so impressed with our newest horse, Levator, tonight. Really impressive mile. Mama knows best. It's as good as I've seen her. Uh, tonight, she, she raced really, really well. Jekyll and Hyde did everything he could. Uh, now, there's a horse that doesn't squander any of his talent. That's just how good he is. It's just that horse. And then, and then Voyage of Ice and Fire, just... Very upsetting, the whole situation surrounding this horse. So hopefully he can put together a, a good month of, of March. Um, and see, we'll see. Maybe he will change my mind, but he's got some work to do. Anyway, that is it for tonight. Uh, I don't know what in the hell they're going to do with the track tonight. It's raining now. It's supposed to rain right till 1 o'clock in the morning and then freeze. I, I see my phone says minus 7 Celsius overnight. It's plus 3 right now. So when it does freeze, it's going to freeze quick. I doubt the track crew lives here at MGM Northfield Park. So I don't know how they're possibly going to fix this track. But we'll see. Uh, if we're lucky, get up tomorrow and the track's okay. If it's not okay, then probably light training and I'll be, I'll be on my way a little earlier. I should be out of here at noon regardless tomorrow and back in Ontario by 5 p.m. But we'll see. Anyway, night's over. Uh, overall, a great night. Listen. At the end of the day, the numbers are simple. Two wins, a fourth, and a fifth. Pretty hard to beat that. So a decent night here. That is it. Uh, tomorrow, who do we have tomorrow? Thursday, we got Captain Mike Deal in Ontario. Uh, and then a lot more horses starting. Got some qualifiers coming up, some schoolers, some horses getting close to racing here. I'll tell you tomorrow, after I train a couple of them, how they look here. Uh, had some three-year-olds in Ontario getting very close to the races there really exciting time at the stable obviously we have this wave of sophomores that were really good horses for us that are getting close to going now um and then of course we get the baby so the drone will be there on saturday i'm going to be working on the set list if i can stay up as long as my eyes will stay open i'll be working on the set list tonight and the moment i can't keep them open any longer that's when i'll be done so i will talk to you all very soon i hope you had a good day uh, it was a good day for us take care